Hello YouTubers, this is the Nubifier. A couple weeks ago on ATV, there was mention of an API for Spectrum. An application program interface or API is a set of routines, protocols, and tools for building software applications. That doesn't really answer very much, so now in the regular no bullshit style, here's what you need to know. Currently, there's no way for the player to track in-game conditions outside of the game. In the context of Star Citizen, an API would be a real-time data feed, which could be used by an external application such as Power Grid or Voice Attack. So why do we need this? Data is currently unidirectional. Mouse and keyboards, joysticks and controllers allow us to perform functions in game. Voice attack and power grid are able to operate omnidirectional. They can be programmed to not only send, but to receive information. A program like Star Citizen already tracks the state of thousands of components in real time. A small sample could include, but not be limited to, the position of the landing gear, the position of the canopy, whether the lights are on or off, how many in the types of missiles on the hard points, and how many countermeasures you have left on your inventory. These states already need to be tracked for the game to function. Adding a small API code could stream these states out of the game engine. A very crude but easy way to stream this information out of the game would be to save the state of the chosen features to a formatted text file. The file could be updated automatically at a short interval giving us telemetry. There are tons of things that we can do with this information, but I wanted to talk about two programs that come to mind. PowerGrid is a customizable wireless GUI or graphic user interface that allows us to control the game with a computer or a mobile device. The program is customizable and allows us to design panels and assign keybinds. PowerGrid is often used in sim pits for MFDs and cockpit panels, allowing ship pilots to use a touch display for ship systems. Currently, it's a glorified remote keyboard and it's unable to perform as an MFD. I know there are many citizens who've built their own sim pit and being able to add a dynamic functional display would be a real game changer. Voice Attack is a voice to macro software that functions similar to PowerGrid, but offers the user a much broader depth of features. It can do so much more than simply push buttons, which is why we need an API. If you were piloting a Sabre using Voice Attack and an HCS profile, you could say lights and it would push the associated key to trigger the lights. Each key press would either turn them on or off depending on their state. If an API exported the current state of the lights to Voice Attack, you could say a less general command like lights on and voice attack would do a quick assessment. If the API listed the lights as being off, the profile would say lights on and then activate the lights. And if the API listed the lights as already being on, the profile would say the lights are already on and take no further action. This is a really rudimentary example, so let's escalate the scenario and add a more complex function. Same ship and Aegis Saber. For the request, ship status. Currently there's no way for voice attack to assess the state. For nothing more than immersion, it could be programmed to say, the ship is in good shape. Now let's say that the API can track the condition of the Sabre into 18 discrete sections. The left and right wing tips, the left and right wing, the left and right front fuselage, the left and right rear fuselage, each one of the eight thrusters, and the two main thrusters. That list is just for the purposes of this example. Each section has a value from one for ruined and 10 for perfect. Now when you say ship status, Voice Attack will look at the feed and see all 10s and then report the ship is in good shape. If there was a wing and thruster missing, you would say ship status, Voice Attack would look at the feed, see a one for the left wing and the top thruster and report the ship is damaged. Or if there was some real effort put into the profile, it could report there is severe damage to the left wing and top left thruster. The complexity of the response would depend on the complexity of the profile. A similar situation, shield status. Voice attack would tally the API status and report, rear shield at 50%. In a more fleshed out profile, the response could actually be a question. Rear shield at 50%, would you like me to balance rear and increase the power to shields? No reply would change nothing, but the profile would wait 3 seconds for the word yes. Hopefully you can see the potential of an API in combination with another program. An API would allow citizens to design custom MFD scripts that would react to shield status, display target ID, or track fuel and ammo. There are some specific items which I feel should never be tracked by an API. I'm going to use missile lock as an example. When you have a missile inbound, you see a red indicator warning you of the type and number of threats. If that information was outputted to an API, it could be used like this, a truly simulated AI. You are once again in a Sabre and there are two missiles inbound. Without doing anything, voice attack could read the API and see that there's two heat-seeking missiles tracking you. Voice attack could then check the number of flares, report deploying flares, and then pump one out. I feel it's terribly important to consider each item on the API based on how it can be used and how it might provide a clear advantage in what's supposed to be a skill-based game. 
Before I close out, I want to ask you, the viewers, for suggestions in the comments or on the thread in Spectrum. I want your suggestions and discussion about the types of telemetry that you would like to see from an API. I've only scratched the surface about what can be achieved with an API, and I ask you to link this video to a friend or orgmate. Thank you very much for spending your time with me today. If you like my no bullshit approach to content creation, please consider subscribing to stay up to date. Fly safe, and I'll see you in the verse.